Amazon business is clearly very big. Subscribe and save is in growth mode and um, coupons uh, looks like it's exploding as well. And I think that they're all just these new mechanisms they're using to try to get sellers to, to well, just they're trying to lower prices at the end of the day. Um, they're trying to hurt sellers bottom line, but they are mechanisms that I think consumers really engage with, especially the coupons. You know, it's something we're all very familiar with using. You know, I remember growing up, like clipping, um, uh, not even just coupons from from supermarket magazines. They used to get dropped in our mailbox, and this was a deal, two for one, um, two six packs of beer for this or that. And so you just used to remember them. Now everything's online; it doesn't matter so much, and it's it's kind of fun because you, you have to go through the exercise of, of clipping the coupon and actually mm-hmm. kind of check out, and it's um, uh, kind of nostalgic. And I think that sellers, customers really enjoy it, and all of this sort of ties back into to the bigger picture of you know business, Amazon business, and. Uh, strap and say trying to get more more quantity through the door yeah for sure it's a uh, it's psychology essentially when it really comes down to it giving the the uh, appearance that you're getting a really good deal or you know you're saving money where you wouldn't have saved money otherwise and just by clipping that coupon you know even if it's a dollar or two psychologically the customer saying, yes, I'm going to buy this product. And so it increases the likelihood that they do complete that checkout, I think. Yeah, I, I actually, I did I did this the, f- the first time the other day myself, and I did enjoy the experience. And, you know, the fact that you don't see the coupon until checkouts, like it says what the coupon is, you know, 15% off from you know, the green, green badge, but you don't see it on the price until you check out. So I was just like, I sort of wondered, I like, made my way down the steps to the checkout just for that experience. So I think that, um, you know, sellers out there should to engage in this exercise. You know, it's worth trialing some coupons and seeing if uh, it's worth it because it does gamify the experience for the buyer. And, you know, those types of uh, differentiations are hard to come by in the Amazon space because it's so ubiquitous. Everything is there and everyone's selling everything. So how do you cut through the noise and make your offer look more premium than someone else's? Um, offer a coupon. You know, raise the price off for a coupon and then, you know, beat your competition. So I think there's some, some good opportunity there. Yeah. And it, it gives you that little green badge yeah. search page, which can definitely help to stand out if not everybody else is doing it as well. Um, but if you're one of the few ones that are doing it, it can help pop your listing and be a little bit of a stopper when people are scrolling through. Yeah, definitely. Do, do, do you, um, do you have a, a, do you do it? Do you have a strategy with, with coupons? You've been talking to some customers about it recently. I do some, yes. Um, not as strategically as I probably should and consistent as I probably should, but we do play with it. Uh, especially if we see like a dip in sales on a product or something like that, we'll throw up a coupon and see if that helps get the the sales to go back up, which sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the product and the price point of the product and things like that. But um, it definitely helps with a click-through rate mm-hmm. and it can help with conversion for sure. Right. Is that on the private label side that you're saying that, that click-through rate? We are... Um, we have access to their brand registry and stuff because it's brands that we partner with. And so we get access to their seller central account, brand registry and everything we're selling on our account, but we have full access to, to all the various marketing tools and things like that. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting. You know, I actually, you know, you know, Scott Needham is the, the smart scout um, owner. And I saw a post the other day that he made, he was very active on Twitter and he, he saw, Someone put a coupon for like seven hundred dollars on a product. So clearly, they've just raised the price of something. I think it was like a lawnmower. You know, it was a high value ticket item. But if you're you're strolling through strolling, you're you're browsing through Amazon for a product like that, and there's all this other competition, and you see this product that you know might, must feel very high value to have such a high cost, but there's a discounted rate. You know, I think that's a really good feeling, and I think that there's a lot of opportunity here. I don't know. The sort of how Amazon's hand handling the legalities behind that experience because, you know, it is, it's at least, I know this from Australia, but it's illegal to raise the price of something and then call it a discount. And some of the supermarkets, we have a, a monopoly in Australia of supermarkets, 
uh, Coles and Woolworths are the two major players. And they're in a lot of trouble at the moment because they were raising the prices of goods and then putting uh, discounts on the labels saying everyday low prices. And they're in a lot of trouble with the ACCC, which is equivalent to the FTC in America. And I, I don't know how Amazon's dealing, dealing with that and how it plays back into a $700 coupon, but um, interesting nonetheless.